We have a project. Uh, we now need to activate some tools, perhaps. Uh, this will vary depending on your installation. Uh, for my students at HIG, um, they have access to lots of licenses via the school. You may not. You may be logged in. Uh, I have logged in. You, um, you can do that at any time up here. Um, sign in. Or you can do it in the, uh, in the opening screen. But activating licenses, click on project, licensing, uh, and it's these extensions that we're after. So you need to activate the licenses that you will need. Tools will be visible in ArcGIS Pro, but they may not be active. If you don't have a license for them, you won't be able to use them. Uh, this is a problem. And when it tells you that you can't use them, varies depending on where you are and what you're doing. So if things go wrong, uh, something doesn't work. One of the first things to consider is, well, one of the first things to consider is, is the path too long? Does it contain any spaces or strange letters? Because if you're working with some of the older raster tools, that can be a problem. The other thing to consider is, have I activated the relevant extensions? Uh, and because spatial uh, analyst down here, uh, where do we have that? There we go. That contains a lot of useful stuff that many people would imagine should be kind of default functionality in a GIS. Uh, but isn't in S3 stuff. So you actually have to access that license. You have to activate it. You actually have to pay for that license as well, uh, which is fun considering you've just bought the software to begin with. Anyway, so that's activating the tools. So you go in there and they will then become active. But where are they? Well, in ArcGIS Pro, most tools are now accessed via geoprocessing. So we click on geoprocessing, and again, we can pin this to the side over here. So that's under view, geoprocessing. And here we have, you know, we, <coughs> we can just search for tools here, up here. So if I do conditional, yeah, I have a conditional, uh, condition, and then we can say, con, how about if I spell it correctly? Conditional, there we go. And then comp performs a conditional uh, if else evaluation. It's called CON and that comes under image analysis or under spatial analyst tool, interestingly. Another way of finding them would be to click on toolboxes, uh, spatial analyst down there, and there's our conditional tool, CON there. So we can access those tools in, in, in two ways. We can actually just look for them in this tree here, or we can click on favorites uh, or just search here up in the search bar. Uh, there's also this portal where we can find other tools as well, but let's let's just stick to the the, the main tools here, the ones that we that, that come provided or provided via a, a license. Uh, 